Really quick, right off the bat, wanted to clarify, I am not talking about buying, you know, buying the new Revuelto yet in this upload. I do love that car, it looks incredible, and I want one, but that's not the car we're talking about or buying in this video, not yet. Hope all of you are having a great day. Today is another busy one, and we are starting off here with a little trip to Monderbach Ford. Monderbach, Manderbach, I don't know, M A N D E R B A A C H, however you would say that. We are today signing the papers. I have my check with me. We're paying for and signing the papers for a new car. Now, the car isn't here yet. It's actually pretty far away, and I might go fly and get it. I'm not sure yet. That could be a fun one. You guys really seem to love the travel vlogs and they are really fun to film as well. So traveling is always good to, I love to fly. It doesn't like bother me, I don't get scared at all. So it's, it's all fun for me. So I don't mind doing that and filming that. The drive home would be pretty far, my farthest one ever, but I'm down for it. Anyway, um, at Monderbach, now you know if I'm going to Whitmore, it's like a Corvette or a truck maybe or something. But you know when I go to Monderbach, it's a big one. The last one was the Viper ACR and then the SVJ. You know, if I'm going here, it's a big one. It's not a Corvette. It's not, uh, you know, something small. Now there are hints on my Instagram. If you haven't seen that, I've been putting up uh, pictures here and there asking you guys what you want to see. And I was shocked. I put up a post about an Audi R8 and a C6 ZR1. And I said, you know, which one would you guys rather see on the channel? Totally thinking, by the way, totally thinking that it wasn't even a real question. I thought that you guys were all gonna say ZR1. Everyone, pretty much, I mean, 95%, I would, literally 95% of the comments, I would say were saying R8. And I guess it makes sense because even though I'm a Corvette channel, mostly, um, you know, I've done a lot of Corvettes and I, I feel like maybe I've done almost everything I can do with them and unfortunately the new ones you can't really modify so it seems like you guys are really down for something new and I haven't had an R8 now I'm not saying that's what I'm getting but I'm just I'm kind of saying like maybe it's something like that that's all that's all I'm saying all right well here we go love the lineup in here they always got something cool Jim's always got something exciting going on here at Monderbach in their kind of exotic wing and now forgive me, I'm not great on, I'm not great on BMWs. I'm going to say M6, um, M6 I would think. Come on, M8, oh, I was wrong. <laughs> I was literally wrong. Um, M8, so an eight series, but the M version, really cool looking car. You know, BMWs, they're nice and the performance is awesome, just they never really got me super excited, but I think that's a pretty, Badass looking car, got a 911 Turbo here. 911 Turbo S Spider, and then you have a GT3. I know that, the new GT3 with the wing that has the really cool over the wing mounts. I love, I love that they did that. Small little thing, but to me really cool that the wing is now mounted like that, I love it. And that's a badass looking car. Great color there, blue carbon roof, exposed carbon roof. Looks like another GT3 with a manual. Are they all manual? That one's dark manual too. Maybe the GT3s only come in manual, I don't know. Again, not a big, huge Porsche guy either, so forgive me, but those seats are really awesome. I think like the 918 seats maybe. But yeah, pretty cool lineup. Now these are all for sale. If you want one, check them out. What's making all that noise? That was an F-150, flying by the way. Um, but let me go do my thing and then uh, I'll meet up with you guys here in a moment, but also GT500's lined up in there. Whoa, now one more thing before we go, check it out. I did not know they had these here. Hennessy Mammoth trucks. Now these are Ram TRXs with a thousand horsepower, as if they needed more, right? But wow, that's awesome. Built by Hennessy, Monderbach has a special connection with Hennessy where they get a lot of these built. And you can see it says 1000 on the side, a sandblast mammoth and a white one very very cool they are not cheap but if you want something even more badass than a regular trx well there you go i did also before i forget i had a crazy thing happen um we had a very special like this is royalty we had a royal visitor at the house what in the world is this 
I, as I'm Shmi, like, I, I heard you like yellow cars. I so do. I had to bring a yellow car. I well, it thank you. All the way across the ocean from England. That's amazing because that <laughs> saves me, you know what, a lot of money. I'm building the all yellow garage. So if you give me that for free, no, I'm, I'm which taking, is. I'm taking it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thought, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. All right, guys, real quick. I'm sure you already know, but this video is brought to you by my company right here, 717 Supply, Humble Beginnings. But our first ever giveaway is live. You guys can take home that beautiful 2022 fully loaded. Denali 2500 HD and 10 grand in cash. Now in the first upload where I launched the giveaway, I talked about the truck, you know, we got the color matching, the lift kit, the wheels and tires, all the options, all that good stuff. But I didn't show you any of the merch in this upload. I'm going to because for the first 48 hours only, we're doing 100 times entries to win that truck in the cash. So you really should enter right now if you're gonna enter at all because that's the biggest entry multiplier by far. And maybe if I show you something cool, you'll be more likely to get it. Now we have all the normal stuff like the shirts. I'm not gonna go through every one, but we got this one moving into political season. This is a good one. Nobody 2024 because we're all sick of it, right? A new thing we have, really cool licensed signs for your garage, like metal signs, really neat. Now, you know, we got Ford, Mopar, Chevy. We've got a lot of different cool stuff here. And uh, those are really neat wall art for you. The normal key tags, we have these really cool gated shifter, like Lamborghini shifter keychains, 717 supply on them. Then we have all kinds of other cool stuff. Like this is a little LED light in here, but it also makes a great case for your AirPods or something like that too if you want to use it for something else. Got the mugs. Uh, we have the headlamps that are really cool. You saw those in the last upload. Lots of awesome stuff for you. So get anything on the website. Doesn't matter what you get. It all counts for you to win the truck and the cash. Good luck. Link down below. But welcome, welcome to the States. Thank you, it's, it's cool to be here. You know, it's cool to be at your place. I've, I've obviously known your place for so long. We've known each other for a couple of years since we filmed together. But now being here, it's like that surreal, like, I know this place, but I've yeah. never been here before. Oh, it's weird seeing that, too, all the way from England. And you're doing a cross-country trip again, which you've done before. Yeah. And you're so good. Like, his content, guys, is oh. incredible when he does these traveling. I went to Miami, and I could barely upload, like, two videos. and Because I was just, it's so chaotic. I'm a mess. But you're so organized. And your <laughs> well, content's incredible. It's, it's how we met the first time, like, four or five years ago, when I yeah. had my Ford GT over here, which was so, so awesome. But that was a car that you couldn't really like take on a road trip because there's no practicality there's no space inside it right well this is so massive and much better you know this is actually usable this is like <laughs> perfect balance between being incredibly cool amazing on a racetrack and twisty roads but still practical and reliable which and, kind of matters and we, so cool looking. we've done fourteen thousand miles in the u.s so far i was gonna ask so what, what is the we mileage went, we went on like this one new york up around the northeast all the way across to california then we went down to florida and then we come up to chicago across unreal. back to the east real yeah it's unreal. been all over this car, I actually worked it out last night, excuse me if you've been really nerdy with this, has been to 29 no, states. 29 states. That car has been to more states uh, than You've been most to more Americans. states than me. Yeah. <laughs> I've been here my whole life. And that's on one trip. That's, that's terrible. On one tour. That's terrible. I, I don't get around much. I, I think I've done nearly 40 or so states now. I love, I love touring the country. There's so many places to see, so many cool people to meet with, so many things around the United States that are just differ as you well, go. The U.S. is so huge. I, I think people, a lot of people don't understand. The U.S. is so freaking huge. Literally in the last two weeks, we've gone from Miami to here and we've had snow and we've had That's the tropical stark Miami weather. difference. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's mad. But it also, do you know what? From a European perspective, when you think of the size of the U.S., right? It's like, oh, New York to L.A., you know, it's just a drive, easy. But it's farther than going from like Scotland to Greece, which is the whole way across right. Europe. So we're like, this place is massive. Some states like Texas, when you go across Texas, you have like a day and a half just driving. Yeah, around. I did that drive once and it was, I was six hours in and I wasn't out of the state yet. I'm like, this is horrible, yeah. it's demoralizing. It's a big old place. But do you know the funny oh, thing? You, you probably This is this. incredible. I, the Pikachu in the back, I did yeah, see the that. The Pikachu plus, plus this. Oh, the windshield crack. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't gonna out you on the crack. I no, was I'll, I'll out myself you. on that one. Any car that's been driven and used properly is always going to have a few marks. Obviously, you can do PPF and keep it looking pretty and whatnot, but it's almost like the mark has a story. Like, there's, a, there's another one yeah. down here I'll show you. This little mark on the splitter here. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, that's, that's never fun, but it's a story, and I can tell you what happened. I was driving home from the Abu Dhabi Formula One. Oh, wow. Yeah, think about that. This Middle is a big East. story. A good story. Yeah. <laughs> I was driving home from the Abu Dhabi F1, two in the morning, and there's a tire in the middle of the highway, and obviously, I drove in. <laughs> sounds like the US. <laughs> it does sound like <laughs> the US. Sounds like us. Like, so part of me was like, you know, at the time, obviously, I was screaming inside. I'm like, this is this is the worst thing that could ever happen. Um, but um, at the end of the day, 
How cool is it that I can tell you a story about my UK car here in the US from something that happened in the Middle East? Yeah. <laughs> it's, I, I mean, it's like, it's, what? The, the, this car has traveled more than most people. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. Incredible. It's so freaking cool. And the yeah. carbon is, the color, obviously, I love. The carbon is badass. Everything about it. Such a cool car. It's like the ultimate AMG. Oh. So cool. Thank you for bringing it. Oh, it's a pleasure. Maybe you'll have to awesome. take it out for a little ways later. Well, I might. I don't know if you trust me, but I might. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know if I trust you either. <laughs> I've seen You've seen my videos, right? <laughs> so that was crazy, and uh, I knew he was coming, but it was still really weird and like a shock, you know, like a world's collide shock to see him pulling up the street in his AMG Black Series from the UK, you know, right-hand drive. Like, I knew he was coming, but it was still really weird to actually see. I was like... Wow, he's here. Um, I was watching Shmi, you know, long before I had a channel and uh, he's a real OG of the YouTube car world. And here's quick math on Shmi. Now, you might have heard before that Shmi is a really hardworking guy. In my opinion, and really the opinion of, I think most people, he is the hardest working car YouTuber there is, right? But here's the math on it. So he's been making videos since 2010. And I did this math the other day myself, just because I was like, he's been uploading every day, right? I wonder like, has it really been? So uploading since 2010, we'll say roughly like 13 years, between 13 and 14 years on YouTube. And that's roughly 365 times 13, uh, 13, 14, you're talking like 4,700 days there. He has 4,600 and something videos uploaded, which means in 13 to 14 years, that guy has only missed like 50 days total of uploading a video. And that's insane. I uploaded a video for every day uh, for about two and a half years. And let me tell you, you know, I was grinding and growing the channel. So I had to, it was, a, it was a sacrifice I had to make. And I loved the filming part. Like that part I didn't mind at all, filming every day. But it was the uploading and the, the editing and the titles and thumbnails and the organizing everything behind the scenes that was really annoying. And I wouldn't want to do that again. I can't imagine doing it for 13 years. You can see like his, on his phone, he has like a spreadsheet of like, he has every video for the next two weeks lined up. He's crazy, but really nice guy, really awesome guy, a very nice human being and works really hard. And if you wanna support him, check out his channel. The video of him being here and what we did with the T-Rex and some other stuff should be live on his channel. By the time you see this on my channel, should be up like in a few days. So it, should, it might already be on his channel. Um, anyway, I got a box here. I have no idea what's in it. Uh, we're going to open it together. Really, I have no idea, could be, channel related or not, we'll find out. All right, so I got y'all on the scoot ski, so have fun with that. And uh, let's see what we got. Now, if you want a knife, if you need a cool knife and you wanna win a brand new truck uh, and 10 grand cash, you can get this on my website, link down below. Just a quick ad, you know, I gotta throw an ad in there for you. They come in handy and you could win a freaking truck with it and 10 grand. So it's a pretty sweet deal. Bye, C. Bumper, it's a bumper for the Blazer, so this will be on the family channel then. The content on the install and everything with this will be on the family channel. By the way, thank you guys for the support with the family channel. It's growing like crazy. The views are really good. Um, some videos get like 30, 40, 50,000 views on the family channel. So Gene and I thank you for that. It's really cool. And it's really like a behind the scenes channel for our lives and you know, other vehicles that you might not see on the main channel. So if you wanna check it out, Mike and Gina on YouTube, but that, that's what this is. I, had, I forgot, I had no idea that's what that was. What is this? Hey man, what's up? What's up bud, how are you? Good, it's about time we got some decent weather. Oh for yeah, us. it's beautiful. I love this today, man. You going for a cruise? I'm going for a little cruise, gotta do it, gotta <laughs> love it. I've oh. been itching to go out anyway, so this is- All cool. right, well have a good time. All right, thanks. Looking man. good, yep. okay. <laughs> Looking real good. Rich is out and about. Everyone be on alert, be on high alert. Rich is out on the streets. Anyway, buying a new supercar and Shmi and Rich aside, we have to go pick up another car for the channel. But this one isn't new. In fact, I've had this car longer than any other car. I've got the wind blowing in somehow in the garage. Sorry for the audio. I've had this car longer than any other car by far. And I think that will give it away for most of you, but put your guesses in the comments. Don't skip ahead, don't cheat. What car do you think we're picking up? Uh, because it's about, I'm about to pull up with it right now. Who 
guessed Corrado. You're right, it's the Volkswagen Corrado and we made it home just in time before the rain started, but yes, that's what it is. So I had a, basically a full mechanical restoration done on the car because it has not ran well, in a few years when I had it, but really, if you go back, the car has not been a regularly driven vehicle since 05, as in like, yes, 2005. And I think that's the last inspection sticker on the wind. In PA, we have to get an inspection every year and you get a little sticker. The last one on the car is from 05. So that's when it really was dri last driven as like a normal car. And uh, you know, I've had it over the years and I've done little things here and there, but my brother is almost retired now from the military, almost, and like another year. And I figured get the car ready because it's his car really. He sold it when he joined back in 05. And uh, yeah, he's been in a long time now. And uh, you know he couldn't take it with him. He was doing a lot of deployments and uh, that has slowed down over the years as he's gotten a little older. So I figured, you know what, let's get it rolling. I dropped it off with a really good mechanic from Whitmoyer a few weeks ago and it's all done mechanically now. And then next up is going to be bodywork and paint because that paint is not looking so hot. But there you go, that's what it is. The Volkswagen Corrado, had to pick that up and I'm excited to give it to him. That was his first, uh, not his first car, it was his second car overall but really like his first one that he cared about and, and like a new vehicle. He got it back in, I think he got it new back in 1993. So that's a long, that was a year before I was even born. But that car is really nice, 50K original miles. Um, great condition, just needed a lot of maintenance stuff because it hasn't been ran in, in a very long time. Nothing going on, just the door opening. Nobody's here, nobody's here. Nothing, nothing exciting going on, girls. Nothing exciting. Well, I mean, the Corrado's exciting and other stuff is maybe exciting, but not, not to those guys, not to these gals. They don't care, they only want food. Um, but I think that's all I got for you. Covered everything and I think that's it. Awesome day though. Shmi is, again, such a cool guy and uh, I only wish he had more time, um, but we had a lot of fun and it's always great to see him and uh, collab with other people in the space. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up, take care and have a great night. And the reveal of the new supercar I bought should be like, I think tomorrow or maybe Thursday. I'm not sure, but very soon.